Hi, I'm Dr. Anthony Sarah, Principled Chiropractor from Power of Chiropractic. And today we're going to talk a little bit about our future topics and just kind of warm you up to what's going to be going on here on this channel. Uh, we're going to be talking about health topics in particular, uh, sometimes in specific to do with essential oils and sometimes in specific to do with chiropractic, exercise, uh, mind-body healing. We'll be answering questions on how to meditate, how to uh, do affirmations, how to visualize, how to sleep, how to uh, get better sleep, how to sleep less, uh, what's the best way to deal with emotions and such as depression and uh, how to balance yourself and live a healthier life overall, how to get the most out of your body. So it's kind of like a life hacking for your body and just getting the best use out of your body the most efficient exchange of information from brain to body and from body to brain in order to serve you and to keep you safe out of harm's way away from medicine and all the things that go on in that that paradigm now i'm not saying anything bad about medicine or traditional scientific health practices it's just that there's never going to be enough science to prove everything by the time we're we're all dead so quite frankly we've already had this many years of science and they have yet to prove so many things i doubt that they'll ever prove them in our lifetime so in the meantime while we're waiting for science to figure stuff out i'll just try to use as many holistic and ancient natural techniques that have been in use for thousands of years until we come up with something better. So it's not that science and medicine in and of itself is bad, it's just I don't want to wait for us to prove what works when we know what works based on what we've done for thousands of years. So I'll be using techniques taken from ancient Egyptian, from ancient Chinese, from the ancient European ways and kind of putting it all together. I have a bachelor's degree in exercise science where I went to Iowa State University and learned about everything that Western medicine has for sports performance enhancement as far as a scientific uh, bend. While I was there I also studied psychology and hypnosis. So I actually found that you're able to hypnotize people to do better at sports, not just uh, having them visualize, but a really focused, concentrated visualization through hypnosis. Because we all know that visualization really works well in sports performance enhancement. So hypnosis is like visualization on steroids. It's really good, really works, uh, very powerful, and really quick and easy to use. So we'll be taking some of our mind-body uh, techniques and applications from hypnosis. After my undergrad, I then went to the American College of Acupuncture and Oriental Medicine in Houston, Texas to learn about traditional Chinese medicine, including acupuncture, herbology, qigong, and tui na, a host of different things. How to do gua sha, there's uh, the moxa, this ear pellets, all kinds of things in order to help to stimulate and regulate and balance the body's energy flow. After Chinese medicine school, I also got my uh, certification as a certified hypnotherapist at the PATH Foundation in Houston, Texas. After that one year program, I then went on to become a chiropractor at Cleveland Chiropractic College in Kansas City. So in my undergrad, we learn about the basic fundamentals of uh, healthy, natural physiology. And then in my uh, first postgraduate experience at acupuncture school, we learn about the ancients and what they learned and how they came to understand things, mainly through metaphor and analogy, or the same way that the sun and moon interact with each other is similar to the way uh, fire and metal interact with each other, or 
the same way that uh, spring leads into summer is the same way that the liver acts on the heart. So there's a lot of deep understanding and ancient traditional uh, metaphors and analogies that I'm going to be translating and simplifying and using to help explain natural law and how the world works. Because what I find is that natural law is universal and it works on a grand scale whereas the things that mankind has figured out work basically on a, uh, on a miniature scale compared to natural law. So the better we can work in harmony with natural law, the better results we can get through our, our practices of health. That's the basic thing that we're going to be looking at as a general theme. Uh, after acupuncture school, what I realized is, you know what, it's not exactly our culture. You know, people don't like to take herbs and have to cook them all day and smells up the house. And, you know, if you've ever been to an acupuncturist and gotten tra a traditional herbal formula, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's more our culture to have something in maybe a pill form or maybe a bottle of an essential oil, which is more our culture, more our, the speed of our culture. Whereas in a traditional Chinese culture, you know, they had time all day to stew, to brew the herbs and, uh, and it was just not our way of doing things. So what I'm doing is adapting things toward our culture. And what I find is chiropractic is the best holistic uh, methodology for health and healing that we have in our culture because chiropractic was started in Davenport, Iowa, 1895, on the fourth floor of the Ryan Building. And it was D.D. D. Palmer, the founder of Modern Chiropractic, with his janitor, Harvey Lillard. And Harvey had a big old lump on his neck, and we're not sure if it was just one adjustment or if it took a few times, but he was able to get his hearing back just by getting adjusted in the neck. So... That's just an example of how chiropractic started. Now, at first, people thought chiropractic was a cure for deafness as a result of this occurrence, of this event. But people came from all over the country thinking they were going to get their hearing restored, uh, thinking chiropractic was a cure for deafness, and then instead they, their back got better, or their allergies went away, or who knows what got better. They started sleeping better, having more energy, all the benefits that we know chiropractic gives. Their PMS went away, or who knows what happened. They just started getting better, except maybe they, their hearing didn't get better. And that's when they realized chiropractic worked on a much bigger scale, not to cure or fix any single disease, but just to get a better nerve flow through your body. Because when your brain is getting better signals and sending better signals to your body, then your body works better, you feel better, have more energy. And that's basically what we'll be talking about here. So if you like how this is going and it sounds interesting, like on this video, share this video on Facebook and tell your friends about it. And I'll be giving a lot of free information to finally and once and for all using the best of East and West uh, and ancient and modern traditions all types of stuff, bring it all together and making it make sense for you so you can educate yourself and live a happy, healthy life. So remember to like this. Also comment, because once I reach a certain number of comments, I'll be answering some of those questions uh, with another video.